So sometimes we have negative exponents. Um, if we're just getting used to positive exponents, it can be a little confusing. But once you once you get used to them, uh, they're pretty straightforward. So let's handle this one in the top right corner in just a second. Uh, if you have five to the negative second, another way of thinking of that is uh, putting it in the bottom of a fraction. Put a one in the top, and then put five in the bottom, and then change the exponent to be a positive power. So my old math teacher would say, you know, it's got a negative attitude. So send it downstairs. Go to your room. <laughs> okay. Um, then, uh, then you can simplify. Five squared just makes twenty-five. So five to the negative second is one out of twenty-five. So negative exponents you can make them be positive by moving them either upstairs or downstairs in a fraction. So if you have x to the negative third, that's one over x to the third. And if you have 1 over 2 to the negative second, well, same thing, except going in reverse now to change it to, from a negative exponent to a positive exponent. We can move that 2 upstairs in the fraction, and then the exponent becomes positive. You, know, you can put a 1 underneath it if you want, but if you move this upstairs, it's just 2 to the second. Now over here we have some negative exponents. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick this downstairs and kick this downstairs in the fraction. The negative 5 stays where it is because that doesn't have a negative exponent on it. But the a to the third goes downstairs and the b to the second goes downstairs.